Good evening and welcome back to another episode of Nightly News where we bring you the latest headlines from this week. I'm your co-host Celine Arif. And I'm your co-host Gunja Shiramba. And tonight we are going to jump right into our international news. On Sunday morning, the world's oldest living man passed away at the incredible age of 113. He was born in the year 1905, meaning that he's been through so many historical events. Two world wars, the moon landing, the invention of the television, the crash of the Titanic. Wow, he's really seen it all. No kidding. Masazu Nonaka credits soaking in hot springs and sweets for his long life. That's some really good news right there, especially after Valentine's Day. I definitely feel better about all the candy I had on the holiday after reading that, so thankful for that dude. And in international news, the state of Queensland, Australia is letting its people have a little bit more fun with their license plates. Aside from the regular letters and numbers, Queensland citizens can now also add emojis to their plates. I think the US really needs to get on that too. They can choose from the LOL, the wink face, the heart eyes, the cool sunglasses, and the classic smiley face. Gunja, which one would you choose if you could add an emoji to your license plate? Well, how cool. Uh, I would definitely take the smiley face because who wouldn't want to see a smiley face while you're driving on the road at like 6 a.m.? Exactly, spreading positivity all the time. <laughs> In local news this week, a former, a former Seattle Seahawks safety player died at the age of 46. TJ Cunningham was a Seahawks player in 1996 and had played nine games. Cunningham was shot and killed on Sunday by a man who police identified as 31-year-old Marcus Johnson after a dispute over a parking spot in Centennial, Colorado. This great player will truly be mourned. In other local news, PLU's BSU club, Black Student Union, is putting on some fun events to celebrate Black History Month. That's right, and two of those events are actually tonight, starting with a cultural showcase from 8 to 9 p.m. in the AUC CK building, followed by an Afro-Caribbean dance party from 9 p.m. to midnight in the cave. So head on down for a great time and a great learning experience from your BSU members. We both hope to see you there. Indeed we do. Well, that wraps up our segment for tonight. We would like to take a moment to thank our viewers for supporting Nightly News and watching our show. We appreciate all of you who tune in, and we hope you'll join us next week as we bring you more international, national, and local news. Take care, and, and have, have a, a great, great night, Luce.